This is an instructional video to introduce you to the components of the Omnihistroscope and tray and how to prepare them for diagnostic and Myasur operative procedures. Insert your index finger into the slots at either side, apply pressure and lift to remove the lid. The Omniscope tray consists of the following items. One zero degree rod lens scope. One 3.7 mm sheath marked black. One 5.5 mm sheath marked blue. One 6 mm sheath marked green. One outflow channel for the 5.5 mm sheath non color marked. One outflow channel for the 6 mm sheath marked green three end caps and two light lead adapters. There are 11 items on the tray and each item has a home which is clearly marked with the reference serial number for each item. This enables the scrub nurse and sterile services technician to correctly set up the tray and clearly identify each item. 11 is the magic number. This visual can help you remember how many items are included in the tray. To carry out a diagnostic hysteroscopy using the Omniscope, you will need the following items. There are six in total. One zero degree rod lens scope. One 3.7 millimeter sheath marked black. One end cap. Two light lead adapters depending on your light source, one packet of single-use scope seals. Open the scope seal packet carefully on the side which says Myasure and this will reveal two dome-shaped seals. Take one seal and insert it into the end of the scope, indicated 60-200 on the tray, ensuring the dome shape is facing down and screw on one end cap. Save the second scope seal for the operative procedure. To connect the 3.7 mm diameter black diagnostic sheath to the body of the scope, align the arrows, push down on the white button and push together until they click. To release the sheath, press the white button and slide apart. Now continue with standard hysteroscopy setup. Located here is the inflow port connected to the diagnostic sheath. Connect the required light lead adapters here. If pathology is identified, then this is how to proceed with changing the scope configuration. Remove the 3.7 mm black sheath by pressing the white button and sliding apart. Place the black sheath back into the scope tray into the slot indicated 60-201 on the tray. Depending on the Myasure handpiece selected by the clinician, you will now select the appropriate operative sheath. For use with either Myasure manual, light or reach handpieces, select the blue 5.5 mm sheath indicated 60-202 on the tray and the non-coloured outflow indicated 40-201 on the tray. For use with the Myasure XL handpiece, select the green 6 mm sheath indicated 60-203 on the tray and the green coloured outflow channel indicated 50-201. 201 XL on the tray. Remember to insert the second scope seal into the selected outflow channel. For this example, we are using a Myasure Reach device with a 5.5 mm operative sheath with corresponding non-coloured outflow channel. Swap the sheaths as shown and insert the outflow channel down the end of the scope. Remember the outflow channels do not lock they are free to rotate and easy to remove. The scope is now ready to progress for a Myasure operative procedure. 
Once the clinician is ready to remove the pathology, they will remove the outflow channel. Remember to turn the stopcock into the closed position. The appropriate Myasure device is then inserted down the operative channel as shown. Once the procedure is complete, remove the scope seals from the body of the scope and outflow channel and discard. Remember, the scope seals are single use, therefore need to be removed after each procedure. Each scope item must be placed back in its original position in the tray and a manual count of 11 items checked off. Thank you for watching. If you require any additional training or support, please contact your local representative.